All right, what's going on, everyone? I just came outside real quick to do a video. I haven't did one for about a week here. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to be talking about whatever because there's so much stuff on my mind. You know, that's how it always is. Stuff builds up. And I have to do, you know, it's like I have to do this, you know. But anyway, from all the past videos that I did, we already know, you already know how I feel about life being pointless, life being meaningless, and all this stuff. And even though I know that it's that, I'm... I'm just searching for, uh, you know, because listen, I won't lie to you. What do we live for other than to, to feel good? I mean, let's really be honest with ourselves here. You know, why do we, why do we go to cookouts? Why do we have family gatherings? Why do we go bowling? Why do we go for a walk? Why do we go to a fancy restaurant? Why do we do everything that we do? You know, we do it to feel good. And listen, I won't lie to y'all. I am on one medication. I don't smoke. Excuse me one second. I got to wipe my camera off. Looks like it's a little blurry there. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't get high. You know, in the past, it's done and over with. I messed up a couple times since 2016 when my brother OD'd. I messed up a couple times, but I'm not getting high every day. But... And I lost train of thought that quick. I lost train of thought of what I was saying. Wow. You see that? That's a perfect example. I'm, I'm here talking and I lost train of thought like that. So you're seeing how I can just absolutely not even know what I'm even saying on here. But yeah, I don't do any of that stuff. I don't do anything. I take one medication. And I won't lie, if I didn't have, if I wasn't taking that medication, I'm miserable. I don't want to wake up as soon as I open my eyes, when I go to sleep and I wake up, even though I might have been doing something uh, the day before that I was interested in, it's like when I go to sleep, and I sleep and I wake up, I can just, like as I'm feeling myself waking up, it's not like I wake up, I'm sleeping and I just wake up and open my eyes. It's like I'll start waking up and my eyes will still be shut. And I know as soon as I open them, I'll be like, oh my gosh, here we go again, another day. And see, here's what now, first off, I'm admitting to you that, and I, here's why I understand how a lot of you are feeling. I understand what you're going through because a lot of you, you might not be on medication and you might have to go to work every day. You might have to do stuff that you don't want to do. And listen, I'm sorry that you have to do that for yourself. I really am. Because if I had the money, I would, I swear to goodness to you, and this is no lie. If I had the funds or the resources right now, I would do whatever I had to do to go off grid. And I would use all of my resources and money to accomplish that so that I could do it. And then... I wouldn't really need to worry about money too much, but that's right now I can't do that. 
and I understand a lot of you, you can't do that either. And I know a lot of you don't take medication and you don't have something to give you that little push to get you by. Believe me, I understand <laughs> and I know it sucks. It sucks. Like I woke up today and that's the reason I'm doing this video because I got to get this shit off of my chest and I even took my medication and I'm still feeling, I'm just feeling eerie. I'm just feeling like that vulnerable, eerie, cloudy, pointless, meaningless, like why, you know, asking myself why I don't want to do this shit. You know, I don't care nothing about money. I don't care. The only thing that I care about while I'm alive is I care about what do I need and I care about my health. That's the only two things I care about. I don't care about what's going on in the world. I don't care about what people are saying or what people are gossiping about. I don't care about none of that. And listen, I'm kind of glad that I have a little or channel. I'm kind of glad because like I said before to y'all, too much is always too much. It's always too overbearing for me. I can't have too much of anything. I can't, I just can't do it. My, I just can't handle it. My brain can't handle it, you know? But anyway, I came out here to do a video because, you know, it's life. This is what happens. Shit builds up in our minds, you know, stuff builds up in your mind, and then you have to deal with it somehow. And, you know, frankly, I'm sick and tired of dealing with it, and I do. I think about suicide a lot. A lot. I think it would be so easy. You know, it'd be so easy to just end it. But I don't I don't want to really spread that message to people. And I really don't even want to bring it up, you know, because I don't know. It's really it's it's a really touchy subject when you get into talking about death and you know, offing yourself and stuff like that. People think that it's such a bad thing, but really, in the end, now I know a lot of you are not going to agree with this, and you don't have to agree with it. Don't take it to heart, whatever I say. But listen, it's your life. You know, if, if you can't take something anymore and you're just completely tired, you know, you can do that. It's not like I condone it, though. I don't condone it to people. I don't tell people to do this, but it's something that we think about. It, it's just plain and simple. It's something that we think about all the time, people like me. I think about it probably every day, even when I'm feeling good. Even when I'm feeling good, I'm thinking... I just want to end this because what is the point of all this? What's the point? You know, what is all that's happening every day is I'm waking up, I'm eating, I'm drinking the water that I need to get for my body. I'm staying as healthy as I can. I do my little, you know, my music, my writing, all my arts stuff on the side which I'm not even putting out like that, you know, I'm not even putting it out. I have so much art and so much music, you would be shocked if I, if you knew everything that I have. But anyway, it's still, it's just never enough. It's never enough. Never. It's never enough. And that's why I know Money is not going to make me happy. I know that. Um, 
a relationship might help me if I was in some kind of relationship with somebody that I was compatible with and we got along and we did stuff together to stay busy to keep my mind off of this shit. But is that really going to solve my problem? You know, no, I know that it's not going to solve the problem. And I don't even want to say that life is a problem because really it's not a problem. It's the circumstances and the situations that we're in and the way that we feel. And that's why I do condone me personally. I condone medication. I condone feeling good. Who doesn't want to feel good? You know, here's what I say. Why be completely sober if you're suffering while you're sober? You know, why not get on something and maybe take something that that just takes the edge off and and you get by you only got one life you know it's like see this is how i see it there are certain levels to this stuff though when i say it it's like i say you, it's it's about being responsible with what you do you know it's if you can take a medication and be responsible then that's cool, but some people just, they, they can't do it. They get irresponsible and they start taking too much or they start just doing crazy stuff with it. You know what I mean? There's levels to all of this stuff. Everything has a level to it. You know, it's not always just one thing when you say something. But listen, I'm on a medication myself and I won't lie to y'all. It gets me through these days and it prevents me from doing something that I would not want to do, but I probably would do if I wasn't on it. And I and, and listen, it's my life. You know, me taking what I take, if I take it responsibly and do what I do, I'm not affecting anyone but myself, and I know what I'm doing to myself. It doesn't matter if somebody else knows that I'm taking one medication or if I'm on it for myself. It doesn't matter what they think. They got to do what they got to do for their own lives to get by. You know, if you're so depressed and you're so down and out, then you're going to have to find something to reflect that or, or be the opposite of. And it's, I was watching this video the other day about evil and good and bad in the world. And if there's a God, uh, God's both good and evil or God is good, you know, all these things that we say. But really what I say is, why couldn't we have just only been able to think about good instead of suffering and bad and all these other things? They say, oh, well, you can't know one without the other. No, you can't. Not here on this earth, not where we're living right now. You can't. Not being in the situation that we're in. Of course you can't know one without the other because that's how reality is. That's how life is. But I just want to be in a world, and I don't care what anyone says. I want to be in a world where I feel good all the time. I want to be in paradise. I want to be in a paradise world where I feel good, where when I open my eyes, I'm like, yes, I'm awake. I'm alive. I'm here. Let's do this thing. You know, let's do something. Come on, let's go here. Let's go there. That's how I want to feel every day. And for some reason, if there's a God, God didn't make it to be that way. And we're not that way all the time. That's not how humans are all the time. You know, whether we want to admit that to ourselves or not, that's just not how it is. It's just not like that. 
you know? And I don't know. It, it really, I won't lie to you. I wouldn't even be doing this video right now if I wouldn't have took, if I don't take my medication, I'm probably not even doing any of this stuff. You know, it is what it is, but that's what I have to do for me to get by. Do I want to be on this? Do I want to have to do that in order to get going and live my life? No, but it's what I have to do. And I understand there's a lot of you, you might have woke up today and you just don't want to do nothing. You don't have any drive to do anything. You don't want to see people. You don't want to go nowhere because your, your head's all messed up. And I completely understand. I completely know exactly what you're going through. That's why I say, listen, there is some people, they cannot help the endorphins and the other things that are in their brain and in their mind, you know, the serotonin and stuff. There's some people that don't have more or less than other people. And it's no one's fault that when you wake up, you just don't want to go through the day or you don't want to do nothing. It ain't your fault. It's your brain. Your brain is doing something to make you like that. You know, and if you have to get on a medication or you have to do something for yourself in order to stop that so it's not so bad, then that's what you're going to have to do for you. No one can do it for you, though, but you, you know. But a lot of people, you won't even get up off your butt and and I don't blame you you won't even get up to do nothing just like me I have to go to the doctor to get some stuff checked and I I won't go because I hate going to the doctors I don't like going to the doctors so I won't go you know so really it's there's no rhyme or reason for me to really do videos but to vent this shit out and talk about something you know I don't even care anymore if it ain't about nothing you know because for real nothing is what I'm trying to be comfortable with anyway you know I'm so tired of fighting this this battle of life I don't want to fight no more I just I want to give up and I just want to be who I am, you know, I, I just want to feel good and live my life and feel as good as I possibly can. <laughs> you know, who isn't, who isn't doing this? You know, this is what I ask everyone who doesn't want to feel good. You know, this whole spiel with suffering is for a reason and at a time, there's a time where it's for a reason to make you see certain things, but it just can't keep going and going and going because then like in my older video, you're just suffering to suffer. You know, what is the point of suffering other than to suffer? You know, then it just becomes overwhelming and too much. But I'm one of these people. I don't want to feel bad and I don't want to be high, but I do want to feel good. You know, there's a difference between feeling good and being okay and then being high and out of your mind and totally obliterated. I don't want to be like that no more. I was like that for years and years. I don't want to be like that no more. I don't want to be high. I don't want to be out of my mind. I want to be in my mind, but in control. And I, I do. I want to feel good. And when I don't feel good, 
I don't like it. I can't stand it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get out of bed. I don't wanna do nothing. You know, it's just how it is. I don't want to go through it. I just don't wanna go through it. And me now in my life, I'm gonna do whatever I got to do to not be like that and to not feel like that. Now, if you're someone that can do something to where you don't have to take drugs or a medication, then great for you. If you can do something that helps you to get by, if you have to go to some type of counseling or you have to go and talk to somebody or you have to go and take a five mile walk or you have to talk to a family member or you have to do something that, that, is, that, that is not like what a lot of other people do, then that's what you got to do for yourself, you know? You know, life is actually, really, life is actually great. And life should be a pleasure and a joy. The reason why it's not that is because we have to worry about money all the time. We have to go to a job that we don't want to go to. We have to have money for our needs. Stuff that we need, we need money for. <laughs> we need a piece of paper to get something that we need. It should not be like that. We should not have to pay for something that we need. Now, something that we want, that's a different story. You know, food, water, and shelter, and a way to bathe yourself with something like a washcloth. That's all that you need. You don't even really need clothes like that, really. I mean, you know, if we're being really, really frank here, you can go with just the littlest bit on. You know what I mean? And, and wash that over and over again. You don't need to keep buying a ton of clothes and all this shit. Now, things that you want, I can see doing something to get those things. But the things that we need, this is why I have a problem with society and the system and how this is ran. Because there is nobody that should be starving. There is nobody that should need anything. All the shit that we waste in these stores, it, it's, it's more than a sin. It's, it's, it's disgusting. You wouldn't believe how much stuff they throw out at these stores every day and places that you go to eat. You know, this stuff we throw out, we could live off of that alone. And there doesn't need to be so many people doing all this stuff to survive. So it's, it's getting dark out here now. You're not going to be able to see my video too good. But man, I got so much shit on my mind. I didn't even talk about... I didn't even talk about like a third or a fourth of everything that I need to talk about. But yeah, it's just, you know, like I told y'all, there's going to be days where I'm not going to be feeling this shit at all. And I should have did videos, you know, talking about how I felt the last couple days because I just haven't been really feeling it like that. But, you know, it comes and it goes. It comes and it goes. But listen, in the meantime, if you are somebody that is suffering or you're going through some type of crazy situation that you don't think there's a way out of, then you may need to seek other things that you may need to seek for yourself. You can't go by the opinion of your family or friends or other people that are in your life or around you. You got to make the decision for yourself to do whatever it is that you have to do to feel better and get through the day. It's plain and simple. I mean, I'm not, it's not preaching. It's just, it's common sense stuff, you know? So, 
anyway i just wanted to give you all that little update this is way too long i didn't think i was talking for this long i don't know how it's always this long it seems like i was only talking for 10 minutes <clears throat> but i'll talk with y'all thank you if you haven't and you want to if you really really want to subscribe and like the video so i can talk and get this out to more people later sbn resonate